New at four, we now know that a man who was shot at that scene has died. The suspect in the shooting has also died. And a police officer was shot and injured. Another officer was also grazed by a bullet. Police were called to the scene to investigate shots fired. The first officer to respond was shot in both legs. Now, this is a live look right now at the scene from Newscopter 7. You can see all the way down there, the streets are filled with small evidence markers. We're gonna have several reports on the story. We're gonna begin with Eyewitness News reporter Tim Fleischer. He's live this in Irvington with the breaking details. Tim. And at this hour, this is still very much an active crime scene. About a block down Myrtle Avenue is where this raging gun battle took place and also where this officer was shot and wounded. The wild scene was captured on cell phones by several people, even as officers traded gunfire with a suspect. That's a gunshot. Officers can be seen ducking behind cars. Jude Memp was trapped in his car with his daughter. All of a sudden, I started hearing a gunshot. Gunshot, the police running around chasing somebody. Irvington police officers answered a call of a man with a rifle, firing a large number of shots in the 300 block of Myrtle. All I heard was a bunch of gunshots, a bunch of gunshots, automatic gunshots. A state official tells Eyewitness News police encountered a 20-year-old man who had been shot in the neck. When the police arrived, you know, they, they was honestly running back and forth and telling everybody to go back in the house. They were running themselves. One of the Irvington police officers who responded to the scene was shot in both legs. When the cop limped away, they all were in the middle of the street, you know, shooting like it was like really serious. He was rushed to University Hospital, where sources say he is alert and conscious. Police traded more shots with the 38-year-old suspect with the long gun. Police in Irvington. See that? It was like a brownish, dark greenish color. It was like a military gun, you could say. And it was like, it's a gun I never saw before. He was later discovered dead down the street. I didn't expect my daughter to, to hear that, to see, to witness. It's a horrible scene. And again, the 20-year-old who was shot in the neck, he has died. Also, a second officer suffered a graze wound.